Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, our show is normally sponsored, but because this is an editorial, um, editorial videos, we're, uh, we're shooting from the hip here. And Are you going to introduce us or no? Yeah, I'm getting to that. I'm just giving a little backstory before I do that. Just giving you a hard time. Uh, anyway, um. Oops, I broke social distancing. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I got beat him with a hockey stick after the show now. <laughs> ah, well, we'll be back to doing videos via Zoom soon enough. Um, so, uh, given the current status of things with the NHL, we thought we'd give our piece on it because, um, what was it, about an hour ago? 45 minutes? Maybe a half hour? Yeah. Um, the NH ESPN broke that the NHLPA, um, to vote either today or tomorrow... Well, today now, it's Friday. Um, on the uh, 24 team playoffs. Now, with that being said, let's just read the teams, why don't we? Just give me a second. Uh, a 24 team playoff. What the hell is the point? You're adding four additional teams per conference. Odds are those four teams don't even deserve to be in the playoffs in the first place. The playoff field on each side on, in each conference was basically set by the time the uh, shutdown happened. All right. So this is how it would work. All right. So. There would be an opening round of a mini tournament of, hang on, of three T, or uh, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six. It would be a series of playing games, because the division leaders would each get, um, four teams per conference would get a first round bye, and then there'd be a series of playing games to decide who plays the uh, top four teams in each conference. And it would be a three-game series. Yeah. All right. And then so, everything else would be uh, best of seven, like usual. Correct. All right, so these teams playing in a play-in series in the Eastern Conference, now tell me, if, um, we're going to go team by team and tell me who does belong and who doesn't. Well, read off the records while you're at it. I don't have the record, oh. but I can't right, tell you who's go. getting in and who's not. Okay. All right, so we got the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, um, Carolina versus the New York Rangers. I don't think the Rangers belong in, it's no, my opinion. They were one of those uh, fringe teams. Um, the Islanders versus Florida. Florida had an okay season. They were kind of middle of the pack. Yeah, Islanders, I think, deserve to be in there. They were playing pretty good hockey this year. Um, and Toronto versus Columbus, which would be a battle of the 8th and ninth team, which are basically the guys battling for the last spot anyway. Yeah, exactly. All right, so the teams with the bye would be Boston, Tampa Bay, uh, Washington, and the Flyers. In the Western Conference, you have St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, and uh, Dallas. So basically, everybody ahead of the Predators in the Central get a break. Yeah. Which is fine with me. Go ahead, be more rusty all you want. This is where I feel that every team, if you're going to do this, every team makes the playoffs. You do a three-game series against every team, worst versus best. You don't even, like, Western Conference versus East Conference. You, you could do, um, you know, worst team in the West versus the best team in the West and, and then just go with that route. And, and then, because at this point, the only teams not making the playoffs are the Kings, Ducks, and... And San Jose. And San Jose. And on the west, uh, on the east, the only teams not making it is Buffalo, Ottawa, and Detroit. Yeah, how fair, for how whatever fair? reason the Rangers are getting it. Yeah. So, anyway, let's just get to the west. The play-in series would be Edmonton versus Chicago, Nashville versus Arizona, Vancouver versus Minnesota, Calgary versus Winnipeg. Well, Minnesota deserves a shot because they were actually playing pretty good with their new coach. Uh, that that series between uh, the Predators and Arizona, that could be a good best of three. 
or two out of three, whatever, however you want to call it. You know the one I really pay attention to is that Calgary versus Winnipeg. It's a battle of Canada, and it would be really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, I, only team in here I don't think should be in and and knock me if you want to I'm not saying it because I don't feel I, I have a hatred for them I'm saying it because they were sellers at the deadline yeah. they just didn't fall enough from being sellers the Blackhawks and that's the Blackhawks yeah because they were a fringe team in the first place Correct. They were a fringe team at the beginning of the season, and they decided to sell at the deadline. Yeah. Well, they were probably did that because obviously nobody saw COVID coming. So. Exactly. So, what's your thoughts on this as an overall? I, I mean, would you be glad that hockey's just back at that point? Yeah, but it, there'd still be a big asterisk next to whoever wins the tournament. Cause you can't even call it the Stanley Cup at that point. You can't even award it. It's a tournament. Yeah. The Stanley I, Cup, yeah, I get it. It is a tournament, but it's not your traditional best of seven, eight on each conference get in type deal, you know? Yeah. I mean, I would be happy to get hockey back, obviously, because we need sports back. It wasn't until COVID-19 came along that I realized that uh, I'm a loser. Like, <laughs> literally, my whole life is sports. I have nothing else. <laughs> Same. Like, I never realized how big, of a, how big of a chunk of my life was sports. Like, I like music and all, but even that's taken a hit, you know? Like, yeah, there's no concerts to go to. There's no nothing we can do, so... There's no sports, there's... And even when that stuff was available, I was going to sports way more often than concerts. But I'm a different story because I used to be in the concert industry, so... I guess my uh, assessment was a bit harsh. But, yeah, um, I'd be happy to get hockey back, but it's just strange. Honestly, they should just stick a fork in the season and focus on what they're going to do next year. Yeah, because I think at this point, if you don't focus on next year, you won't be able to take the right precautions. Taking yeah, just up. stick a fork in the ear. Nobody gets the cup. Just give the regular season. Give the Hart Trophy, not the Hart Trophy, but the President's Trophy to Boston. Just get it over with. And then go into the draft and start building towards next season, figuring out how you're going to do the arena people and all that. But we'll we'll see what happens with this vote. Um, I'll let you guys know within the next uh, twenty four hours. Yep. We'll let you know something. As the minute as we it can breaks. Get... Well, not the minute it breaks, because we're gonna have to read and make sure all the info's right. And but yeah, but we'll we'll do a video once we hear something. All right. Well, uh, I I don't have any more. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just say stick a fork in it. Just call it. The AHL did it. I mean, I understand. Hey, if the NHL did cancel the season, how much money would they lose? Could you look up that info for me? Because uh, that's thirty the million dollars. How much? Thirty million in TV revenue. Only. The per whole league. Per team. That's what I was. Per thirty million per team, from what I heard. Well, do the math. How much in total? Because um, if, the, if the league it's if the league itself takes too big of a financial hit, they're gonna need some type of revenue. That's why uh, the NBA wants to come back. That's why MLB is struggling. The AHL seven hundred and twenty million. Oof. Well, yeah, I'd say just get hockey back. We don't need the NHL going out of business completely. So, they don't. They don't got huge uh, TV <coughs> contracts like MLB, NFL, and uh, NBA. And the TV contracts they do have, it's per game. So, yeah. like, even if they play like the the, the the this little series, it it'll all be about broadcasted through their local networks. All right, but here's the th here's another thing. Uh, how much revenue would they lose from ticket sales and stuff? About that. 
So they're breaking. No, even. thirty million is what the TV deal is. What's the other stuff? They, it'd be a break even. Are you figuring? Um, ticket sales for the playoffs as a total. Dude, playoff tickets are insanely expensive. We noticed. We've tried buying playoff tickets and said, nah, we're watching them on TV. I know. That's why I'm saying it's about <clears throat> a break even for the league at $30 million. As a total, as a whole, they bring in about $30 million in ticket sale revenue and merchandise revenue. Because playoff mer- re- revenue, you know, if you win... So even if they come back, if there's no fans in the stands, they're still going to lose. Yeah, it's so just they need, yeah. You might as well just stick a fork in the season. It's pretty much try and get as close to a break even as you can. Yeah, you might as well just cancel the season. Just it's just one of those. We'll see what happens. Uh, the players vote today, so we'll see. Um, yeah, but don't also got to go to the owners, which means another vote potentially next week. The owners already voted. Oh, so this is the final, final. Yeah. The owners voted last week. Okay, what they vote? Yes. So they want the season to start? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, they're just trying to hope that they can get 25% capacity, which I could agree with. Well, yeah, because they got to make some of that money, man, because uh, heaven forbid they give some of that money to the players. But I don't want to go into that rant about how NHL players are grossly underpaid. All right, well, on yeah. that note, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll leave that. Yeah, we'll let you guys know tomorrow what the final word is. All right, talk to you later. Go to YouTube. You know what to do. Later.